Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Aquarius. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Aquarius, I'm doing your reading today with the Light Seers Tarot blended with the Muse Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. You got the Six of Swords on the split and the Knight of Inspiration at the bottom. Um, so and then, the, and then the lovers underneath that. I feel like, um, Aquarius, your reading is talking about that you're having to make a really difficult decision. I can see this in your cards that are already on the table, but this is just confirming it for me more, that you're having to make a really difficult decision to uh, leave a situation or make a big change in an existing situation. It's been difficult to make this decision, but you're at this tipping point now, I believe Aquarius, where you're moving into action. It's going from like reluctancy and hesitancy here with the six of swords into like a burst of action with this night of inspiration. Interesting. And then the night could be bringing in some sort of a, some sort of a, um, a communication that you are delivering. Are you delivering a message to somebody? Delivering a message. You know what I'm getting actually is you're delivering a message. You're communicating a message through your actions, through making this decision. It's like being an example, perhaps. So let's pull you an, uh, a dream decoder card for an overall energy. I mean, the Six of Swords is, is talking about for me today about like being on the fence. I'm seeing those three crows go off in the background there and these three crows coming into the foreground here. It's it's kind of like um, you've been kind of on the fence, weighing your options back and forth, looking in both directions for some time, but that is now changing. It's shifting into the night of inspiration and a big burst of movement. It's like gaining your confidence. So something may have happened that has, has kind of tipped it to one side over the other. If that last piece of information has come in. Okay, let's focus on the dream decoder. Feeling trapped. Have I seen this card before? It doesn't look familiar to me. Feeling trapped. So it's basically just talking about being held back. It's interesting because your your first card here is the Eight of Swords or the Eight of Voices, which you know has a very similar message, of course, right? Like feeling feeling stuck, feeling trapped, not seeing not seeing the solution, not seeing the answers. But it actually came out in reverse for you today, which I love seeing. I very rarely have reversals, but this one was very clearly in reverse today. And so what it was telling me is that you, this energy is being flipped. It's being um, resolved or overcome. So you seem to be moving out of this trapped feeling and into this uh, burst of decisiveness all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I'm just re continuing to read the back of the card here. This card is actually uh, interestingly kind of pointing towards a relationship that is confining. Although I'm not, I'm actually not really seeing that in the, in the rest of the cards that maybe for some of you, you know, kind of on the fence about whether to stay or go in a relationship. Maybe it is here in the cards actually, because you do have the two of cups moving into the fool. I was kind of seeing that differently. Well, we'll get there. So for some of you, we, this could be talking about kind of being on the fence, of course, about about leaving a relationship behind. In fact, the 10 of materials is underneath that, leaving a relationship behind. Um, so being really conflicted about that. So that's interesting because the 10 of materials and the lovers are right beneath those two cards. So it kind of is talking to me about that's, that's the decision that is on the table here is almost like breaking up the, the 10 of materials energy, the happy home, the happy situation and moving out of that. Um, so there, I want to say Aquarius that there must be 
exceptional cause for you to be making this decision because it seems like um, you're kind of going against the grain. You're going against the grain and you're, you're kind of being made an example. And it's been difficult. It may have been difficult, but I feel like you're moving into certainty now because this is, this is how your reading starts with the Eight of Swords upside down and then the Seven of Emotions is actually interesting how it, it kind of looks like um, kind of the light being turned on. I often see this one as kind of being like stuck in a dark closet. It's interesting, actually. It's kind of like being stuck in a... It's like um, I'm getting this image of actually going into this space intentionally, almost like this is your... Somebody who may have a specific space that they go to, almost like a closet or a meditation room, that you go and spend time there in order to receive clarity about a situation, but going into it this time or recently, no clarification has been coming. So it's been feeling um, particularly confining or what's the word I'm trying to say? The clarification just hasn't been coming and so that has been adding to the difficulty of the situation because it's almost like your usual way of resolving conflict or, or coming to a decision, it's like it wasn't really working. Your usual way of decision making had kind of stalled out or wasn't giving the results that it usually does. Again, it's kind of coming up with communication again for some reason. I'm really being no drawn to her throat. It's almost like there's a blockage in the throat. Because there's a blockage in the throat, it's like I'm not quite sure what to say in this situation and kind of looking upwards for guidance about what do I say? What do I say here? Um, but I feel like you may have been in this energy for quite some time, really on the fence, unsure what to do. But right now in this moment or very quickly coming upon you is this moving into certainty about what to do next. Like the seven of emotions is talking about the options that are before you are, um, suddenly less scary or are suddenly more compelling. So something has shifted in between these two cards where it's like, it's almost looking to me like a light has come on in some sense, a light has come on or something has, has occurred. Maybe it's an incoming communication that has allowed you to see the options finally, or to see them as possibly as blessings, whereas previously they were triggering fear within you. It's like that is, that is being resolved. You're suddenly moving from a confused state into almost like an exhilarated state, especially with this, this night here is moving from trepidation into excitement. And then you're coming up with this emperor emperor card here. This is you, Aquarius, today. Um, kind of, well, this is interesting. The emperor and the wheel of fortune. I'm seeing this as you are incredibly, in a, an incredibly powerful position at the helm, ready to make a decision that's going to turn the wheel, right? Turn the wheel on perhaps the two of cups, right? So this could be why you have been sitting on this for a while. The decision that you're about to make is going to impact more than just you. It's like you are, it's like, um, what's that saying? It's talking about like the more power, the more responsibility, the, you know, it's with increased power comes increased responsibility or with increased responsibility comes increased pressure, that kind of thing. You kind of are, there's a lot at stake and you're, you're the one making the decision, the decision, you're the one turning the wheel that is going to be impacting, if not a very up close personal relationship, perhaps a bigger grouping like the, um, the 10 of pentacles, which actually was, was here. The 10 of pentacles, we, we could be talking about like your broader family or community because the Ten of Pentacles comes out again here at the end. So a lot of emphasis on kind of like home life, family, friends. And I want to say a situation that, well, they're kind of, it's coming up as a Ten. A Ten of Pentacles to me talks about kind of it's been fulfilled. It's expanded as much as it can. Therefore, change is needed. Perhaps you're the only one seeing that in this situation. You're the change maker here. That's what I'm seeing. You are the change maker. And it's kind of like Aquarius, 
you've been reluctant to be to step up and be the one to make the change because it impacts more than just you is what I want to say. So I'm suddenly seeing this one peeking back at me again, kind of saying, yeah, this that's why I, oh, it's interesting. It's actually kind of coming through as not, what is this, feeling trapped. Not really, feeling trapped, yes, in the sense of forced to make a difficult decision, but this, this imagery is talking to me about actually kind of like burrowing away and like an avoidance, trying to hide and not wanting to make this decision actually. So that could be what, what the flip in this energy is for you, Aquarius, is that you went from being fearful to step into this position to suddenly the confidence arriving, which I see here very clearly with this strength card, actually the aid of inspiration and the strength card. Interesting. Okay. So let's get back on track here. You're quickly coming into confidence in order to make this big decision that's going to impact the, the two of cups moving into the fool card. It feels to me like there's at least a perception from this moment that you stand. I feel like you know, I feel Aquarius like you know where this is going. You have confidence that you're making the right decision that, or maybe you're just coming into that confidence with everything that I just said, but you now have that confidence but in this particular now moment, it feels like you're kind of maybe turning your back on or walking out on a, a relationship or somebody who depends on you or, or a situation that your presence is required, something like that. Because the Two of Cups going into the Fool is like you're walking out of this Two of Cups and making what they perceive as a foolish move or a foolish decision. In fact, they may be seeing it as very... Um, shallow vein or um i'm see, i'm hearing self righteous but i want to say something more like just selfish i guess that's what this four of materials talks about for me i know the four of pentacles has a different message but just this image here is always talking to me about kind of vanity and selfishness and kind of ego egoism egotism um that that's the perception but like i said i feel like you know better Aquarius, that that's not the, what's going on here, because I feel like you're actually, um, what, what's coming through here? It's like you're actually, your motivation or your drive or your sudden knowingness to move as you're moving now is being really inspired by, maybe by the divine with this aid of inspiration coming in. Um, it's like, You've been in this in the dark, uncertain energy in your meditation mode, in your sacred space, seeking answers or clarity, unsure what to say. The lights have now come on. And I want to say it's with this aid of inspiration, which is actually is what's causing you to move into this really powerful stance. In fact, you go from this aid of inspiration, which I want to say is kind of like the answers coming in, the, the energy reaching you. The message or the energy has finally reached you. You have been uncertain and asking for some time. It's finally reached you. You're now in this power position. You're shifting as well, right? It's like your identity is shifting with this woman's face shifting into this lion face. So that's just also talking about kind of coming into strength and courage in order to make this move because it goes right into the tower. And I want to say this tower is you today, actually, Aquarius, as an incredibly powerful individual who's making big changes that are being perceived by the collective or the people around you, your collective, your family, as potentially disrupt destructive or motivated by selfishness is what I want to say, right? So this tower is not coming through as a tower moment for you. It is a tower moment in the sense that I feel big change, far reaching change is beginning to happen in, in your life and in the life of the people around you. And it's because of a decision and an action that you are making. Because what I skipped here was the ace of pentacles at the beginning of the row here. You're making this move, this eight of pentacles, I'm seeing it as actually kind of uprooting, right? It's like picking up your life and moving it somewhere else. That's the big, that's the big movement that's happening. But what is really interesting to me is I'm actually seeing these cards as, as kind of 
one and the same, they're very interconnected. If this pentacle here is what you're picking up and moving, it includes this entire dynamic. Whatever this symbolizes, this 10 of materials, this 10 of pentacles, it's like that is what's being picked up and moved. The whole situation is being moved. So it's something like this, Aquarius. It's something like there's a perception that you're kind of being irresponsible or branching out in this eccentric direction that is impacting the rest, almost like they're being left behind, especially at the beginning with the Six of Swords, the, like you're leaving behind the Ten of Materials, but what's actually happening is that you're actually taking it all with you. You are moving all involved. And it may be experienced as really uncomfortable by the rest, but it's actually, what I want to say is actually very beneficial to the whole. We're ending with the Empress here. So you have the Emperor and the Empress. And I want to say both of these are your energies. This is what I mean. That you seem to be in an incredibly powerful position, kind of like at the head of the family, making a decision for the entire group, right? And I want to say that although it may not be perceived by... The rest of them currently, your, I want to say your motivation, your inspiration is that a knowingness, it's like a knowingness has come in. Maybe that's what this is talking about, a communication, a message, an impulse received by you that has given you absolute certainty that it is in the best interest of the entire group. I mean, she's got... She's carrying the world here, right? That's what we're talking about. You are carrying the, the whole. You're carrying the whole. And it's like you couldn't make the decision. It seemed really scary to you. I don't want to be in this position until something has come in with these two cards here. It's like something has occurred to you or you received you received a bit of clarity or a circumstance has played out in a particular way that has given you the information that you need or the confidence that you need to make this big change because now you know that it is in the best interest of, of everyone, even though it may be uncomfortable, temporarily uncomfortable. In the end, it's for the greatest good. Does that make sense? So... There's, again, this kind of came up in the reading yesterday, Capricorn, that there's like courage being required here. This is the thread between the two readings today, between Capricorn and Aquarius. There is a, there is a requirement on, of courage on your part um, because it's like you're making a decision on behalf of a number of people and you wanted to make sure that you were doing the right thing. It's a big decision to make. So, but the courage that that's also required here, I feel like you're, you're, that part is taken care of. I feel like you're in certainty that this is the right thing to do. And that's why you're, you're starting this reading with moving from, from doubt and fear into absolute certainty and action. But a lot of the courage here, again, this was kind of in the Capricorn reading as well. It might've been in the extended has to do with kind of being singled out as the one who's causing change that the others are not desiring at this moment. But I feel like, as I said, you can see farther down the road and you know the benefit of what is to come, even if it's not understood by the rest at this moment. So that's where the courage and the strength is coming in for you, is being required by you, because there may be a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say naysayers, objections. There may be a lot of objections to what you're doing. How can you be doing this? Why are you doing this, Aquarius? But you know that that's just for a brief time and that they're going to see the results and the benefit once it begins to play out a little bit more. It's just this kind of space in between where there's uncertainty as things kind of catch up and they'll be able to witness the results of your action. So interesting. I'm just, I'm just, fascinated by how it's now kind of bleeding into the Capricorn reading from yesterday or the Capricorn reading is bleeding into this reading. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, Aquarius and create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. 
Um, but if not, if this is resonating with you, I want to say you already know Aquarius, you're doing the right thing. It's going to work out. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.